How's it going ladies and gents, Reverend Saint back again and today I've got the Road to Prestige for 3rd Prestige Episode 3, finally! Now, I didn't do like a pre-recording, like I didn't do a live recording for this part so it's kind of pre-recorded, but here are my stats, 2.15 KD, went down a little bit, 491 score per minute, went down but just barely. The VMP is still my most kills, uh, or weapon I have the most kills with surprisingly because I didn't really use it all that much for the last probably three quarters of second prestige reaper is also up there but i also once again really did not use it very much because i've been trying to get these specialist challenges done as well raps are still my most effective uh kill streak which doesn't surprise me at all still use those things like crazy man the fat beats yo the fat beats they're freaking good man i also use a lot more haters this time around still playing a lot of domination but i've been playing more hardpoint as well kind of going back and forth as you guys can see right there but yeah i i don't know this time around it went a lot faster it seemed i don't know if it's because i played better or i played a lot more or what but it went a lot faster i i definitely had some really high kill games this prestige as well not quite 100 pluses but close you know some 70s and, and stuff like that but also seeing as how I didn't pre-record this, or I did pre-record the uh, the video. I am going to go right into the gameplay right now. As you saw, I did permanently unlock the M8, uh, so that's definitely getting a lot of use right now. I haven't really used it at all in the game until recently, so uh, I'm actually really enjoying it because it's too freaking good, man. But anyway, this gameplay right here, man, 53 and 3 is right before I prestige. It's actually the same day that I prestige. 53 and 3. Crazy game, but I think I get two mother ships in this one as well. I'm pretty sure I do uh, because I owned that three times. I think that's like a 17.7 KD or something crazy like that uh, in this game. And I actually finished my my uh, mother ship challenges in this game as well. I get all the ones I need. I only need one more support gunner kill. Only need one more support gunner kill. So I have to find a teammate that can get me a freaking mothership in the in the game so I can get into the support gunner and get one kill. And I'm done with those stinking challenges and we can make a sweet video on the awesome calling card, man. I cannot wait to get that thing. But anyway, this gameplay, I'm using the ICR. Uh, it was su suggested, this uh, gun setup was suggested by Soli. He's actually one of my friends as well, but he, he's one of you guys, man. He's a commenter on YouTube. He suggested this one, ICR with the EL or the elo quick draw and rapid fire now i did put a little bit of a remix on it i put uh fast mags on it because of the way i play he didn't suggest any perks or anything like that so i just went ahead and used my points accordingly i put fast mags on it because i had been using it with fast mags before this uh, and I really, really enjoyed it. I really liked how fast you could reload with this gun. Uh, it was a nice AR. This gun is the ACR of Black Ops 3. Like, I, I don't like to draw too many comparisons to previous games, especially when it comes to maps. Like, let the new game be the new game, man. You don't have to compare it to everything. But nonetheless, if you had to, this gun is easily the ACR of Black Ops 3. Now... Oh no, it's the M27. The M27 wasn't as good as the ACR, and a lot of people are like, you know, but the M27's a uh, is a Treyarch gun. The ACR is an Infinity Ward gun. Who cares? It's still the ACR of Black Ops 3, and it's still really freaking good. The, the accuracy on it is insane. It barely kicks at all. You can headshot people off head glitches from across the map super easy with this gun. And not, that's not peppering either. That's just laying down that trigger and shooting nonstop. That's how good this gun can be. A lot of the pros that were actually using this gun uh, or they switched to this gun, uh, especially when the M8 get ban got banned um, during the, uh, the Totino's 50K tournament, the first Black Ops 3 tournament. Uh, that had happened just last weekend, I want to say. I think it was last weekend. Uh, so it's it's a pretty dang good gun. So I definitely recommend you guys trying it out. Normally, I like to run stock on my ARs. Even though it's not very, very noticeable in this game, it still helps me a little bit. So I definitely like to run stock on it normally. But I got this insane gameplay with this setup. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay in the background. For the rest of the class, I'm using perk 1. Uh, is Ghost Perk 2 is any up normally like I said I always say this though if you want a really good class So you're probably gonna want to run cold-blooded and then perk 3 is gun ho or you could run tack mask uh, Gun ho is just because I quick draw on as well And I'm like I'm gonna if I run into somebody with this AR man I gotta be able to pull that thing up super quick So that is why I'm running gun ho instead of tack mask in this domination match But here's the first mothership. I hope you guys enjoy this. I actually get a lot of kills with this man I, I we get them into the spawn trap 
trap here and they keep spawning right here and me and this uh the support gunner in my streak are just annihilating these guys so it's freaking sweet there's my challenge actually i got it really early didn't realize how quickly i had gotten it in the game i thought i got it during the second one anyway moving on um there's not really much else to talk about actually uh th you know the the game is still freaking new man it, i'm still not tired of it this is normally what i used to talk about is how the game's growing old or if it's st if it's still hanging in there as i as i go through the ranks and it's still hanging in there dude i still cannot wait to get home from work every day to play some more black ops 3 because that's just how good it is man it's it's fun again it is a fun game finally uh, I mean, I thought Advanced Warfare was fun to a point, but after a while, it was like, okay, I'm getting a little annoyed, you know, the jumping is just kind of insane. Like, in order to do good, you have to, like, constantly be trying, man, because you're, you're, you're flying around so much and people are flying around so much. It's like, you gotta be on your toes, ready for someone to pop up all the time or, or to jump yourself, and it just kind of got uh, frustrating after a while. It's like, I just want to chill on the ground for a little bit, man. I don't know, but uh, this game is definitely, it's still a ton of fun. It doesn't feel any less or more boring, I guess you could say, or more played out since the first day I played it, you know? It's still pretty much the same feeling every time I play it, although, you know, it can get frustrating when you get some bad teammates here and there, which I have plenty of bad experiences with. But nonetheless, besides that, it's still a ton of fun, man. Because it, just because your teammates are doing bad doesn't mean you you can't turn it around or or pull something crazy off and and uh, start getting kills again. Then maybe your team gets a second win and starts playing better. You know, I don't know. It's still a lot of fun. But oh, I remember what I was gonna talk about. Double XP this weekend, baby. So I'm definitely going to be streaming uh, a lot this weekend on the PS4 because of that double experience. I might try to uh, stream till I prestige is what I might do uh, because it's, you know, double XP, man. I got to take advantage of it. Plus, I'm going to be streaming as well. So I think it'd be a lot of fun to do a stream to prestige. Uh, I don't want to call it a prestige in a day because I'm already like level 10 or something like that in third prestige. So it's not really starting from scratch or anything like that. And I, I probably won't prestige. Um, until, like, I'll, I'll probably stop and sleep and get back on stream again and Prestige then. Because it does take a while to level up in this game. But I'm going to do my best. Going to start Friday night. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, yeah, and I also picked up Black Ops 3 for the Xbox One uh, this yesterday, actually. So I'm going to be playing that a little bit here and there. I'm going to try to do my challenge videos on that. Uh, because, number one, I don't want to mess with my, my stats on this guy. On the ps4 because i want them to reflect a little bit more accurately whenever i do the rotor prestiges so i'm going to be doing excuse me all of my my challenge videos and and stuff like that or not all of them but most of them on the xbox one plus i have a lot of friends on xbox one so we can be playing there and as well also for these streams i just picked it up that's why if you heard crunk cr crumpling cr cr crunching whatever uh it's a bag <laughs> i got this cable from Elgato that will allow me to record party chat from the consoles. They just came out with it. I haven't tried it out. I literally just got it in the mail today. So when I stream, I can now talk to you guys who are in my lobby and everyone in the stream can hear you guys and they can still hear me and you guys can hear me and we could all talk and, and it'll be just like back on 360 when we streamed, man. Like how everyone could hear everybody and stuff like that in party chat. Yeah, you can do that now because the, the next gen consoles didn't have an output to stereo for chat or, or speakers to ch for chat. And so Elgato came up with this awesome audio splitter uh, for chat cables and stuff like that. That's supposed to work. So we're going to try that out tonight. I'm not going to be streaming tonight, but I'm definitely going to try it out. Streams tomorrow. Thursday should be around 6, 37 o'clock is when I'm going to be starting. Twitch.tv slash whatever and say. Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. That's going to be the, the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. And don't forget to suggest your favorite gun setup for me to try out. Uh, if I really like it, I'll make a video on it. Just like I did this one. Just like I did the Pharaoh as well. Because the Pharaoh was really good. And I really enjoyed that one. Um, I also just recently did the Vesper. I think somebody suggested the Vesper. I can't remember exactly. Uh, so yeah, but definitely suggest your favorite gun setup and I will give it a shot and possibly make a video on it. Uh, but anyway, like I said, on our way to 10k, I've said so many times recently because, you know, we're making progress. It's just slow. I just gotta remind you guys, you know, keep it up, man. 
share the video if you enjoyed it if you if you haven't seen my videos before please i encourage you to go check them out and if you enjoyed those hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys later peace Friendly wraps deployed in inbound. All locations.